Oh, ho, ho. Precious Channel, it has been a thousand of your Earth years um, since we managed mm -hmm. to uh, materialize. Um, imagine that I've got fantasy terms for all the rest of the shit. Um, just throw them out there. Yeah. Any, anything you want, just just throw them out. Just Maybe like, this like a portal yep. or something. Portals, like we have portals. Scrying, scrying pool. pools. Right, is good. Uh, Vacasa, whatever the uh, fantasy equivalent of thanking you for a subscription is, I want to make sure yep. you you feel that within. Uh, 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 doors from sigil. Right? Yeah, yeah, the sigil, another great uh, fantasy uh, thing to right. do. Um, listen, Calderon, let's do it now. So we have got some cool, cool shit uh, to happen now. But but listen, it may be it may be that you are not familiar with acquisitions intoxicated. Um, unlike Grumbling Moblin, who is a professional pro and knows exactly what the fuck's up. Listen, this is Acquisitions Intoxicated, which technically speaking is a spinoff of Acquisitions Incorporated. Ghostly, thank you. Um, it is uh, our attempt to invite you into an incredible human art form, uh, that of brewing. Something that we love, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, like, no, like it's, like, like we love it. Like it's a big deal to us. It's yeah. a big deal to us to do it. We think it's a great hobby. Like we have a lot of, you know, like certainly on our channel and generally speaking, like dorks have awesome hobbies. Yes. But this is a pretty sophisticated distinction because this is a hobby that can be transmitted, functionally speaking, yeah. virally. And then unlike most other hobbies, DC Raven X, thank you so much. Unlike other hobbies, when you get done doing this hobby, like listen, you had fun the whole time. <laughs> you had fun the entire fucking time, right? You were hanging out with your friends. You know, Ada Crow, right back at you. You were hanging out with your friends. You were doing cool stuff. Yeah. You were taking part in a thousands of years old tradition. Then you get a bunch of beer. Like you get <laughs> I know, beer. Like the the, the end the process end. of this is amazing. Shroomish, thank you so much. <laughs> you get beer at the end. Like you, you, you like. It doesn't make sense. Like, no, I mean, like, the, the ROI yeah. on this fucking hobby is tremendous. Makes no sense. And then on top sense. of that, you can give it away to your friends as Indeed. presents, and then they think you're just like the best. Indeed. Now, Jesse Lynn, Lord Zaris, thank you so much. Now listen, because this is what we're talking about. Now there's there's a there's a couple ways you can do it, right? Let's say you're going to be brewing. Let's say you are benevolent. Uh, let's say that you are benevolent in brewing, right? Um, you can give it to your friends. You can have a party. Obviously, right. as we've suggested, you have brew day, but then bottling day. Who, who? Yeah, that's good times when a you. A lot tap of it, it doesn't make it into the bottle. You know, I mean, like. Yes. Now we we have had multiple because of Jeff Cow's <laughs> dark thirst. Yes. We have had multiple uh, sessions in here where we tap a keg <laughs> and there is not a single drop left no. to go back in the bottle. But imagine this. So that's that's the benevolent side. Hey, I made this for you. Let's all share it. Yeah. This is a pretty classic scenario. Right. You can also lord it over them. Oh yeah. And you can meet it out. Yeah. Like spice. Mm. You know what I mean? You, you can be, you can you can make yourself a kind of brew lord. <laughs> uh, that's another scenario. But like I said, if you are not familiar with acquisitions intoxicated, let me give you the rundown. First, we are going to put our ingredients in here for Widow's Wake. Widow's today. Wake. This which, is our first IPA that we brewed with or we developed with the chat. Exactly. And I'm so excited. Our, our first about true this. IPA. So we actually, yeah. you know, we took a long time getting around to IPA. Yeah. IPA is the like the base. It is the popular. Yeah. It's the bell of the ball industry right. speaking. In, in in the industry, uh, in the sales part of the uh, craft industry, IPA still count for forty percent of the market. <sighs> ah. the yes, I'm sorry, I, uh, I interrupted you because I smelled the Eldorado hop. Yeah. Now, um, but you were kind to us, uh, Precious Channel, um, and you agreed with us yeah. that for our first outing um, here at AC in for an IPA, we had had a couple IPAs recently that used Eldorado hops. Yeah, and we, we couldn't, I, I, I couldn't put the be beers down. There were, somehow the liquid evaporated out of that glass. Well, no, and, and without drinking it. Without even drinking it. It sublimated. Yeah. I mean, it went right from a liquid <laughs> to a gas, right? <laughs> It's gone. Yeah. We never I saw it. Didn't even know how it happened. No, exactly. Like, it happened five times in a row and I just could yeah. not figure it out. But the reason that we like Eldorado, the reason why it has, it has arrived at such a, a unique coordinate, mm -hmm. let him know. It, it's really, it brings out a lot of tropical fruits, stone fruits, pears. Well, things that you wouldn't 
again, like in the same way right. that like, so if we were, as, as we have many times, let's say you're making a Belgian. Right. Now all of a sudden there's these weird candy tastes, right. cloves and fruit, but not stone fruit. Not stone fruit. These not. are gonna be sweet, like pulpy, fresh like, fruits. Like take a, the like the scent of a mango coming mm-hmm. off the top of your beer. Yeah, just, just the flesh, yeah. right? Now, but when you're looking at El Dorado, we're talking about like peach. Yeah. Like, and not like, you know what I mean? Like sometimes people, when they're talking about wine or beer, like sometimes they'll euphemize a yeah, little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you BS the story a little bit. There's a sales can, yeah, aspect, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? With El Dorado, there's no salesmanship no. required. It actually is delicious. It's juicy and delicious in a way that is just sort of unassailable. Right. And um, uh, we appreciate uh, your letting us go that route with this. But to that, uh, to that effect, Let's introduce some hops into yeah. these baskets. Well, first, let's get the grains. Oh you yeah, need, yeah, you need to smell these grains, guys. If you uh, if you remember when we were building this, oh shit, yeah, this was really cool because we instead of a um, just regular two roll, we went with a golden promise, <sighs> which is going to give us some really great flavor on top of being a base malt. Yeah, see, this don't make no kind of sense. But here, the real the real kicker to this, yeah, throw it right in there. Well, I, 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 oh yeah, I don't need right to. Right I'm yeah, just going to throw it in the basket. The yeah. real kicker is everybody voted to put rye in here, and which is listen, it's a little kinky. I mean, let's Some, let's let's just got to go down that route. Listen, let's just let your you know. Let's out. let's we're say not king no, no, no. We're not gonna, we're not here to yuck anybody's yum, and yeah. we're, we're here to we're here to add our yum to your own. Um, to, so so rye happens yum. is that's right. a double yum, but rye happens. Double your fun. Yeah, exactly. But rye occurs. Yeah, you know. Occasionally, you'll, you'll occasionally breweries will experiment with it. I know that yeah. you've experimented with it. My understanding is that it thickened into a kind of glue in your equipment. Well, we well, this was at my buddy's distillery, so we were using. Oh, so you were using like an industrial tons and tons of pounds of rye oh, to make okay. whiskey, and it just rye. Um, when you get it hot and get water on it, it gets a little. It, it the sugars get a little sticky. Yeah. yeah. So. Now recall that functionally speaking, the entire first. Oh my gosh! Right. See, this is what I like, Eric. Because, look at the color. Well, look, look, look at the, the color, color and grains. look at the smell. But also, here's here's what I'm glad to be back to, because we've experimented with like the pills, like liquid assets. Yep. We've been messing goza. Yeah. We've been messing around with lower sugar content mm-hmm. product. Right. I am so glad to have a full grain basket. Yeah, and it just looks Ugh. absolutely stunning. And the rye in there is really, this is our first, not only is it our first IPA, it's our first rye PA. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But basically, so hook them up. I mean, my experience, you, you're, you may have better technology to explain this, but my experience with rye is that it imparts almost like a, like a dark, like borderline herbal mm. aspect. Yeah. It basically, like, you know right away. You know you're having rye. It's something a little, yeah, yep. there's a little bite yep. on, the, on the tip of the tongue, along with the sugar content. Right, right. Absolutely. And then we just went for a little deeper of a color. Uh, we just went right with some Crystal 80. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. To, and and we, yeah. we wanted a, a simple malt build for this. Right. You know, you don't have to always go over the, you know, to extremes and have tons of malt. We can do a lot of simple malt builds. Yeah. And the best part is this El Dorado. So yeah. So if you want to start filming. And then this is cage one, right? That's cage one. That's going to be going in at 60 minutes. Okay, so that's, so that's the where bitter. we're going to get all the bitterness from Exactly. This. And we're looking, oh, we're shooting God, for so, about 54 IBUs on this. It's almost here. You tell me. Like, let's just, you know what, like every, 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 every now and then, like when we're on the show, yeah. I'm like, you know what, I need to tone it down a little bit. I, I need to be cool about this, but I don't let's, let's, tone anything. let's like, just no, actually a- fucking do it. So this, <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say sweet tarts, and then you put it up to the nose hole, and you tell me. I'm gonna say sweet tarts with a little bit of sour patch kids mixed involved. Yeah, because you're getting that. It's the the tang, the tanginess is there, but there's also that. There's also the extra, like it just like again. All, the, any, any of the fruity ones, like Dank is still completely operative, right. I think. But the flavor that's going to come off this, the stone fruits, is going to be absolutely uh, fantastic. Exactly. And fantastic specifically, Precious Channel, fantastic in a way that doesn't require any salesmanship. No. It, 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 this is a hop that completely speaks Wait, for before itself. before you do that. Yeah. So we're going to show you how, this is the, the simple oh, way Whirlflock? Well, yeah, we got to throw a Whirlflock in. 
Yeah. So we'll put whirl flock in, or you can use Irish moss, which is going to clarify your beer. Exactly. So, um, but basically, you're going to see that it's going to coagulate with mm -hmm. the proteins, and it just falls to the just bottom. All drops out. And then you draw, and then when you draw it out, you're pulling the top of it off. Yep. It's 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 actually wonderful to watch because you can see the layers of um, the the, the cold sediment break basically just dropping. Yeah. So you can throw that little it's chestnut killer. in there. Is that, now with is, that, hold is on that just two? Yeah. Just one. Put, put that in two. Mm -hmm. Now we are doing two more editions of El Dorado. Because it's an IPA. Right. We're doing El Dorado from hell to breakfast. Right. Yeah. We just wanted to do a single hopped IPA. I mean, there are a lot of really cool benefits of just one immediate hop. Yeah, for bittering, aroma. And so, then for this, there's probably going to be a dry edition, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd be surprised if we didn't. Oh, there, there's going right? to be a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I need you to do is take that yep. hop and cut it in half with your fingers. So the, this is an easy way to measure out hops. Oh, in bowl? In, in bowl form. So we know total our hop bill is one ounce. So the first one was a half an ounce. So we just took half the bag. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. we're just going to visually cut it in half. Sure. So this is if you don't have a scale with you. If you know the base weight. Yeah, this, yeah. this is how you can do it. So you're going to put half of those hops in, set in the second bin and the other half in the third. Mm -hmm. Dude, this is the dark souls of brewing. Right? So there's a lot of ways you can do this. You, you know, if, if, if in brewing you always forget something, something will happen, water will spill. Listen, yeah, if, any, if anything, like this is the most human version yeah. of the brewing show, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, you are not in control <laughs> of 100% of this process. Yeah. You want to try to maintain control of the rest of it, but there's just going to be some shit Look you don't know about. Around. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah, they go to the right. Okay. Yeah, we have a new basket back here. Oh. Yeah, uh, Pico Brew sent us a new... A whole, ooh. Oh, here. One moment. One, yeah. Uh, here, so new shit. This one has to go to... Oh, yep, yep, yep. I messed it all up. I'm a bad person. All right, now... Screen on. Screen on. This thing on there. Uh, like I say, if you are new to the show, we use a uh, Pico Brew Zymatic. I backed it on Kickstarter a thousand years ago. Um, a not insignificant portion of the show was generating an excuse to use the device <laughs> with incredible regularity. Well, what was funny was we were over at your house one day and we were like, okay, we need to start using this Pico Brew because it's awesome. And then we're like, oh, yeah, let's just do a show. Uh, <laughs> it's good. Now, so we are looking for Widow's Ooh, Wake. Oh, there it is. Right down there at the bottom. All right, now that's about to go to work now. Yeah. Now, uh, the other thing we, we should talk about on stream is what... The two people at Unplugged did for us. Oh, here. Clues we'll, and... We, we will get there. Brother. We will get there. But I would love it if we could get... Uh, do we have an extra mic out here for uh, Kathris Draub, Josh? Uh, you can just sit the any of those spots. Uh, right it'll be fine? Okay. Oh. Well, come on in, Kathris Draub. Here, wait, why don't you sit over there with this special man? Welcome to your... Are you... <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> no, you, lo you look as though you have been fathering 100% for yeah. the last few days. No, you... No, is the microphone is getting... Okay. Yeah, it's fine. The microphone <laughs> is going to handle this. It's tapping here, yeah, but exactly. still no uh, Exactly, exactly. Yeah. No, oh, that's where I've been. Indeed, indeed. Now, I would also like to invite anyone from the office uh, who wants to come and try some of this stuff, uh, they should, they should do so. I'm so um, excited. Oh man, so you should understand Precious Channel that the reason we have summoned via a mysterious portal. Yeah, but I feel like, I feel like you need a... Oh, well look yeah, that, that was oh. quick. Here comes trouble. <laughs> All right, now, um, the reason why... You might why... become the official pourer of uh, acquisition. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, now. Uh, I want to emphasize that we put together a brew, Acquisitions Intoxicated, of course, a sub-show of Acquisitions Incorporated. Um, we put together a special well, beverage. A lot of... Young. When, 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 you're, when you're first yeah. pulling it off, it'll, it'll be a little foamy. Take another um, glass. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Let it sit. Let it rest. that right? Yeah, oh, exactly. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. So, so, um, so check this out. We have... Oh, it's Mike Rahulik. Um, Michael Rahulik! So this, this pro can help you out. 
Um, Still doing it, Jeff? We put together a uh, porter, uh, a, a dark porter. Are you going to fix on this? Yep. All right. We put together a, a porter based around his character who is from the Underdark, um, which is a, a very spooky place. It's wet. Um, it's moist. And there's not a lot of light. It's dank. Yeah. Um, but but here's the here's the kicker, right? So uh, his character serves an entity called the Ur uh, that he does not 100% understand, and it may not even be conscious in the way that we think of it. It may not recognize individual people at all. Um, it's basically Hope not. No, it's an enunciation of cosmic certainty. Um, which is a very strange thing to uh, try to roleplay as, but I, I've done my best. Now, um, but the Ur in Port Ur uh, is uh, the product that we put together with you, the channel, and with our friend Kathris Straub. Oh yes. Um, and so we are ready to get some of this product. The channel ran with it like there was, yeah. I had very little info. Well, I, I mean, I don't understand the process. Yeah, not yet. So now, not yet. Yeah. And so there's two versions. We'll do a second version to this mm -hmm. with the um, fresh hops that I have in my fridge. Yeah, I will. Side tackle, no, I'm just very short. <laughs> and my, Mike has some height. <laughs> it could be two things. It could be both it, It's a mixture. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah. What a, what a pleasing color. Now, you want to you want to break down what's going on with the port ur? Sure. So this is this is different, uh, a completely different brew that we have normally been making. Thank you. Um, this has been it has a lot of roasted flavor in it, and we went with what did he say? He said it was a, a beer. It was a beer. Yeah. I'm familiar with? Yeah. <laughs> It Not was. It's his third beer ever. I know. He's yeah. doing great. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. doing great. He's like he a little bee. He did not appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, it was going to be too much. He doesn't like. Yeah. So, we made, so Mike does not like coffee and he doesn't really like beer. So, we made a coffee beer. Yeah. And it turns out that we found his limit. <laughs> um, it's going to ruin your week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, with this, we took Maris Otter as our base malt, which is going to give us that biscuity flavor. Mm -hmm. And what? Biscuit. Biscuit. And then we went in and. Threw a little bit of chocolate malt mm -hmm. in there to darken it up, give it give us a little more of that roast yep, uh, yep. flavor. And um, what we went with the hops were very traditional in some senses. We did Challenger, yes, classics, classics, which brings out you know um, spicy, um, uh, spicy and fruity flavor in the beer. Exactly, and then we backed it up with Calypso. That's right. And this is where we're going to get a lot of different. Um, uh, emotions. A lot of people are going to be angry. Yeah, yeah. Rage. <laughs> Liquid rage. Liquid rage. But uh, this is going to give us a lot more of uh, fruit flavor to go along with the blackberry that exactly. we added. Exactly. Actual this. blackberry um, along with the rest of it. So, that, But the main thing is, right, so like that hopping in a porter, it's not going to be super intense. Mm. And so down at the levels that it's in, Combined with the rest of the roasted flavors, it isn't like if you're doing an ale yeah. or something like that. Like it means something different if it's surrounded by, by all these other things. Now, are we, are we ready to try this? Put yeah. it over here. Cheers. Taste. Mm -hmm. Got it. To your taste. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Whoa. I'm just gonna chug it. Come get it. So it's so you're getting all that roasted flavor up front. But then it hits you with the blackberry. What's, what's, what's fucked up is right at the very end, then it's just like, it's like the whole thing is gets set, and then it's like a oh. naked blackberry like streaks through <laughs> the, 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 the field? Yeah, exactly. Like, hey guys, I'm here! <laughs> he's like, I'm a blackberry! And that's, that's it, and he's gone. But he's just hanging out there in the back. Lurking, sneaking. Um, Atria Ventrica, mm. you are not wrong. This is the blackberry one. Marvy, Marvy, but there's no question. The, the blackberry at the end is just sort of like a cry for help yeah. from yeah. this desperate fruit. Well, it's been it's been the locked final. it's been locked in the underdark for yeah. so yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. But there's there, it, unlike some other pieces of popular culture, 
there's no scenario in which the thumb goes up. No, mm-hmm. this it is simply annihilated by the act of consumption. No, even a thumbs down would indicate like too much presence of mind. At yeah, exactly. That point, the berry is it's sunk. <laughs> yeah, no, this it's is gone. Like it's a just, flail. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <It's> just, ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh is man. It okay. <laughs> Are we good? <laughs> yeah, that movie would have had a, a lot of a, a, a different tone if, if Terminator had like. Visibly panicked. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. 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 The whole time. The whole bad choice. Time. Bad choice. Bad choice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because because he's been cool the rest of the yeah. day. He's like, you know what? Actually, no. This sucks. <laughs> yeah. Wait, there's a better way to do this. <laughs> we have the technology. Rebuild me. Ah, no. No, I, I just came up with a totally different way. <laughs> Actually, you can have everything you want. Uh, I retain my personhood. <laughs> Why am I doing this? You're just gonna send more back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, We're your right. time here. Yeah. Jeez. Time loops. Uh. Hmm. So. Would you say that this is a, a good beer to your liking? I don't know. I this, believe uh, this was packed. This was all unplugged. I don't. Uh, I don't drink uh, beer so much, yeah. uh, but I don't, uh, don't know if I like this one either. <laughs> well, you see, it's not no, for it's you to like. Good. It's, yeah, no. <laughs> I think the thing that's surprising me about it is that I like. I feel like I could. I could drink a lot of it and not realize that I have. Yeah. No. You know what no, I mean? See, but but and normally a, with like a porter or like a heavy. Beer. I'm done at half right. a one. Oh, no, right. for, no, for a porter, yeah. body wise, this is very, very potable. It, it, it's it's accessible and portable. it's only oh, portable. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. No, no, no. What I'm saying is like, because here's the distinction. It's like you always have that. You got the roast, right? You have the cafe scenario. Yeah. Uh, café. Um, you have that. You have that in the middle, it right? Comes, it but comes then, down in the middle. Yeah. But I'm then there's the. For him. There's the he doesn't blackberry, know how to speak it very well. Yep. There's the blackberry reassurance it at the comes end. Comes back it, it, and reassures here's what it is, right? It's like a promise. <laughs> but, no, blackberry promise. You know, listen. Here at Acquisitions Intoxicated, we offer the blackberry promise. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, no, but but this this is what it does. Is that you know a lot of times in life, you know, we encounter scenarios. We've all right. Mm, every uh, now listen, and then. Who among us does not encounter scenarios, right? But imagine <laughs> it goes like that's a really large. All right, you, <laughs> you, you do you, man. You know, this is just like elevated. If you want to bring a, yeah. if you want to bring a fucking kiddie pool in here <laughs> yeah, and hey, do it that way, hey, that's go fine. big, go big or go home. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But he's a vast creature. Like yeah. it, it maybe he requires a certain amount. Question. Right now. Yes, that? Jeff, oh, you can oh, get wait. more. No, no, no. <laughs> is it unfiltered? Huh? Is it unfiltered? Yes. Okay. I was, I was curious because there's mm-hmm. a lot of sediment. And I'm like, oh, just for you. I appreciate it. Feeling a lot of warm sediment for in my belly. Oh man, that's Marvy. Oh, but but finish your thought. Oh yes, exactly. So the, the weight of it. So we we encounter challenges, right? Don't we? But here's how it goes. You know, this gives us that sort of the fruit gives you a little bit of reassurance at the end. Like with each drink, it could go two ways. Mm-hmm. Like each each sip enunciates two radically distinct visions of reality. Right? There's a version where you say, you know what? Maybe I'm done drinking, not just this glass, but forever. Yeah. And then what the Blackberry helps you through at the end, it's like, no, all of my choices have been great. Mm-hmm. I don't see any reason to alter from the from the path. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Let's just keep going in this direction. If he can do it. Maybe he I can. inspires yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. He inspires us. Ah, uh, Lambeco, thank you so much. So, I don't know. I feel like that's a I am that's a robust I'm an, I'm thrilled with how it came out. That is a robust porter. Right. Now Get into some brew stuff for our friends on the channel. What is going on with this particulate? That's just some of the extract that will be in there. Oh, per- oh, oh, the oh, 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 that's right. oh, that's right. Because you actually just add, because the yeah. the blackberry edition mm. is very very recent. Mm-hmm. So that could be like I seeds see. or other. Yeah. yeah. And so eventually, what will happen is that the one scenario would be that now that we have our serving keg ready to go, we can draw off the top of that. Mm-hmm. And then it'll be ready to go in the second car- in secondary container. All right, man. Well, hey. Uh, that we- is Hello Friend. That like, is Hello God, Friend. I am so happy it. May came out. we? That is that is. Uh, I want to. I want to protect it. This you know what I mean? To make a friend. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A liquid friend. A liquid friend making friends. It is a friend. With yeah, friends. Sorry, forget about making friends. I <laughs> no. just have all the friends I need. <laughs> you know, what about it? So there's making friends, and then there's like literally manufacturing a friend. Yeah, it's Hello Friend, not friends. Uh, Exactly. This is the friend being referenced. Exactly. The exactly. Now, um, and what's great is it's only five point six percent alcohol, so you could have 
Jeff, you can have another. So you that can, was my second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well now, yeah, go back to work, I guess. Try to add value to the company, drunkard. All right, so here's how we go. Uh, what's next uh, on our adventure? So, so now, that, now that we have partaken, and then obviously we're not going to be the last ones too. No. Now uh, we start moving in a new direction, uh, character-wise. Yes, and we have a. Uh, so the Ryan Hartman is going to be the next character up, but we're going to wait till he's back and recuperated from Unplugged. Yeah. To do uh, a stream with him to do something for. Uh, Denar Blitzen. Denar Blitzen. Yeah. So so he has, but so Denar Blitzen has some pretty specific. Yeah. Fantasies, right? So We're he actually do two. he wants to do he wants to sort of branch out, mm -hmm. not because in our campaign, understand this. This actually is totally on brand, pure canon. So uh, Dragonborn, at least in the uh, Acquisitions Incorporated C Team universe, have two dicks. And so, if so, folks so they say. say. So we're going. Yeah, 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 I guess that's true. But yeah. what we're going to enunciate here you haven't seen it come out is yet, right? two separate scenarios. Right? Yeah. We're gonna go for, he really loves Belgians. Loves Belgians. So we'll do a, a Belgian beer for him. We're and looking, he want, we, we'll, as, we, as I talked to him, he, he was like, oh, we really wanna do a triple. Yes. And I think that'd be great. So go into that a little bit. I mean, triple means a specific thing. I wanna just put a pin in the whole, like the two dicks and how that was gonna, <laughs> how that was gonna mesh with I wanna investigate the this dick thing that. for a while. Like there was, seemed like a metaphor was being constructed for the beer. Yeah. yeah well, no, the, the, basically it's like, why choose? It's like, por que no los yeah, two if, dicks? Yeah, if you got two, you know, why not just... Yeah. Right? And so... Utilize both. Smoke if you got them. Yeah, exactly, right, but yeah. in addition to uh, the Belgian that he wants to brew, he also really wants to do a wine. And yeah. so we haven't, hello, we have not done a wine yet. And I think it'd be fun to show the stream how to make wine. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like compared to like this is much more difficult. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wine is very easy. It's yeah. Literally, pour, pour, done. Yeah, yeah. And then, pour, pour, and then don't think about it for a long the, time. The, the hard part. Pour, pour. Yeah. Pour, 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 pour. pour, pour. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. So um, the hard part is waiting six months to a year yes. for it to be done. Exactly. But you know, come December of next year. We will uncork one of these bottles, and um, it'll be good times. Yeah. But it's like, the funny thing is, like, you know, the beers that we drink on the show, generally speaking, they range from 4 to 10, maybe. Mm -hmm. And that wine's going to be closer to 14. Oh, so yeah, th so that that'll be a very interesting yeah. show. Um, yeah, strong. Yeah. Like a dragonborn. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, not unlike a dragonborn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Duple dick! Yeah, yeah, it's on there. Solid name. There's a possibility there. Now... So, 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 we, we, so we're, we can't do Dinar right away. No, so let's choose a, somebody, some character or some place. What do we want to do? We exactly. Can, we can make, Josh. Get that. I, first of all, Josh, let me start with an apology. I'm sorry. In my planning process, it's not always 100%. Um, I don't have my laptop, so I can't do the polls. Well, like a what are one of the wheels? I'm ashamed. One of the wheels of the cart. Now that's an, I don't think we've explored. Well, that. We just drilled way <laughs> down into the cart. Well, here no, just, the cart. Well, honestly, well, what about what about the you know that spring mechanism that they used to <laughs> yeah. put that curved metal? What about sort that of suspension? Yeah. 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 You need a producer. Yeah, I need yeah. a producer. You're not wrong. Um, yeah. Now, so Trevor obviously up his potential. Potential. Put real hair in there. <laughs> hair in every sip. Choking. Just, mm, yeah. Yeah. You, pull, every you, you pull right the, the, the hair. No, the hair of the, of the dog. Yeah. Ah, I'm ah. telling you, I got I got lots more where this came from. I got a lot of incredible material. The hair of the dogs, sourced <laughs> from multiple <laughs> no, breeds. No, no. But you have to you have to keep taking the concept and you have to keep like boiling it away. Hair of <laughs> multiple dogs. <laughs> hairs Just of peel dogs. Peel back the onion. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hairs of dogs would dog work. Dog hair. But also like hairs from multiple dogs. Mm. Yeah. Hairs from the multiple dogs. <laughs> <laughs> the famed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, a um, of them. But, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, T-Rav is ready to roll uh, airship. Ooh, uh, that's Airship or the cart. That's I am cool. shocked or as tipsy. hell. We haven't done tipsy yet either. True, true. The Did you guys do like a nitro anything yet? Because the well, airship would work with that. Oh, it oh. certainly would. But you don't have a, it was a nitro. I mean, you can, you can, you can grant that yeah. creamy you mouth feel. anything. Really? Right? You can grant that creamy mouthfeel to any beverage by pushing it through that tap. So right. one of our one of our favorite places to go 
uh, in town. Oh, thanks. Oh, oh. thanks, guys. Here. Um, so one of our. Oh no no. Thanks, man. So one of our favorite places to go here in town is Jolly Roger. Yep. And they actually do IPAs on Nitro, yep. which I don't I don't hate. No, it's like good. I think that there are I think that there are other possibilities. Right. Like they have a we've, they have we've a, been pushing for one. No, like literally we're those motherfuckers. We will go into this place every Saturday. And I think what's his name? Justin is so sick of hearing us ask for this. Yeah. But but they have a dark ale that's brewed with cold brew coffee. Yeah. Put it on nitro. Oh yeah. Put it on nitro. Why um, would you not? So we have this conversation with them. And um Constantly, uh, it, 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 does, it never gets heated. You know what I mean? Hey, you know, with all the sliders and poutine, and but you have to understand that we don't we don't get there like we get there in the <laughs> middle of the night. Yeah, we get yeah. there after we've been to two other bars, <laughs> so we're pretty punchy when yeah, it comes yeah, to yeah. when it comes to the to the JR. Um, oh, but, so good though. Oh, see so you now that so now it hit temp. Now we're starting Look to at get that cool. color. So yeah, interesting question. I'm yeah. sure it's come up here before. Was, yeah. was what about a sour beer? We could do a sour beer. You no, were like hesitant. no, no, no. I would, I would, yeah, exactly. But I would approach it. So we need to redo our goza. It's already in. It's already done. Is it done? Okay, It'll, cool. We're tasting it next week. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get through this this goza. So a goza is brewed with acidulated malt, mm -hmm. right? So it's not soured like in the classic sense, mm -hmm. but it is tangy because of acids that are. A it, part it, has, of it. it has lactic acid that it has been. Right, uh, put onto so the malt. You see, so and the lactic acid gives that sour. Gives taste. it a sour text. Gives it a sour flavor. But that's distinct from a sour beer, which is really more about infecting yep. perfectly good beer, <laughs> corrupting it. Um, anyway, but but it, whenever it comes to a taste like that, honestly, whenever it comes to most things, generally speaking, if I don't like something, I actually begin with the assumption that I just am dumb in some way. And so, but and I keep trying sours in the hopes that I'm gonna find the no, sour. It's but a I, very... I, but I also don't like, I'm not really a wine person either. Mm, and honestly, like, for sours and wines, like for me, like, they both sort of have the same thing. Mm. It's like, I don't mind the kind of tangy that comes from Hop Alpha, but the kind of tangy that comes from a, you know, molecular tier corruption of a perfectly potable, delicious yeah, the thing. the words we choose yeah. to shape our yeah. thoughts yeah. about a thing. Well, no, but it's just like, because I have met people that are otherwise very reasonable, and for some reason they insist. I don't know, I, it's, it's not my favorite. I'm, what I'm saying I'm, is that it's I'm not bad, a... but just because I don't like it doesn't mean that I won't try it. And honestly, think about how much fun it would be for me to drink something to and then sort of get that cat, no, like, to sort of get that cat like. <laughs> what have I done? Yeah. Right. I mean, I could provide that experience for you, and and it's be perfect, be perfectly fine. Here's yeah. another here's another beer novice question. In the yeah. same way that you can you know imbue any beer with that nitro mm -hmm. afterward as yeah. an afterthought. It's just a tap. I mean, right. basically, it's just another version of this, right? Yeah. Could you imbue a beer with that sour nature? By adding just some garbage to the beer, <laughs> just just Maybe throw like little, shit you find on the a street. A little jot to even your glass. It doesn't even have to happen at the at the tap. That, for me, that's a great scenario. I like that. Go into the go into the souring thing. Go so, into this. Go into this evil process. I don't want to discourage of the devil and like make people throw up. But so Chris, sour. Chris, you were sick recently. Yeah. You, <laughs> think about that, but you're drinking it yeah. instead. Yeah. Instead of think trying about, to get it out of no, you. No, think about think about just drinking. You're sick. <laughs> just putting the sick inside you. Yeah, just, uh, hey, you know, guys, I mean, just <laughs> throw this in your gullet and see what the hell comes out. It's going to be great. I mean, it, it might be a little <laughs> puke. It might be some corn. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, okay, the, New York, the, the NY puke pronunciation basically starts with a B. Buke? And, yeah. Like, what do you mean? Like, hey, these two utes. I mean, yeah. I don't know what you're talking no, about. I support you 100%. Yeah. Now, so Trevor. <laughs> We're trying uh, to is, suppress Trevor's, that, uh, Trevor's option one here. So you tell them. Are we uh, doing Trevor? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna put Trevor in the mix oh, okay. and they'll vote. But I'm saying that go into the souring process. Right, so there's a lot of different ways to sour a beer. Um, one being you can use acidulated malt, which is gonna give us that tangy, tart, sour flavor. But also, um, souring can be done through <laughs> different kinds of yeast. And if you see- Really? Mm -hmm, the yeast strains will do it. Um, oh, so the yeast in addition yep. is is included with yeah the, the bacteria a corrupting factor a corrupting bacteria it creeps 
The Jeeps. It vests. Yeah, exactly. And, and, it's, and it's, then you let it sit for about a year, six months to a year, and then as it's in the barrel. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's it's a, a long time. It takes. It doesn't what? have to take that long, but it, it takes a while. Oh, I didn't. I assumed it's not right away. Oh, you know what? Oh. The ones we had uh, in uh, Philadelphia was uh, they ha it had said it was bottled in. Yeah, it was like three years old. Yeah, it was very old. Uh, maybe an old sour, where it, no, it, okay, it's still okay. You're, you're not gonna like it. <laughs> just, just no. <laughs> What if, the, what if the beer could become only the thing you hate? All the other elements are gone. Yeah, you know, I, so I pull it and I pour it out, and it's like, no, I'm not even coming out. Yeah. You're not, you don't support me? Yeah, yeah, I don't support you. I'm making it out in here. This has got his hands against the bottle brim, and it's like, mm, mm. Can you do somebody with some culture? Yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, for me, it's like, okay, well, it's like, well, yeah, it's disgusting, but at least it doesn't take very long. Like, now you're telling me that not only is it fucking gross, you have to wait a thousand years. Yeah. It's like drinking a mummy's asshole. Like every part of this. Anyway, I, I if mean, you want to make a, that. I just want to know how you know if what you want to make like. a sour. I was going to say, why I mean, is that not on the pole? Yeah, yeah. Maybe mummy's asshole? Like, get done. that mummy's asshole on that pole. Oh. <laughs> is that like the, that's like a stripper, like get, get on the yeah. pole type it's of thing? It's a technique. It's, it's a move. A, yeah. It's a move. It's a, <laughs> the mummy's asshole. It's impressive. It's it's actually used for curling I more than well, I don't anything have else. The upper body strength yeah. to pull it off. Yeah. Okay. Well, th this is what I get for putting Trevor on a pole. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that happen. just happened. <laughs> no. Like, thank God the cart didn't make it on. That was not meant in no, any no. serious. No. No. T real. So if we're talking about if we're, if we're, talking, about, if we're talking about vitamin T. Where oh, do, food. Yeah. Where listen, do. something happened, and I, it happened because the porter, the porter. Hello, friend. It's got some strength, but the issue with it, the issue with it, I mean, honestly, in terms of ABV, it's not that crazy, no, but no. it's so delicious. Well, I was checking on that. Yeah. I'm also checking on that I haven't eaten today. It's another element. Yeah. No, I haven't eaten a lot recently because I was <laughs> ill. So no. now I'm a mess. Oh, yeah. You're so I'm now just, I'm a fucking mess. Yeah. Well, you know. But I'm, you know, I'm open on some of this, uh, this, uh, Blackberry uh, matter. Sediment down, here. down there. Hey, really get those get those calories in your zone. Yeah, the precipitant. Now, so now I know. So this is so this is what you don't know um, on the channel. This is, I mean, fundamentally, materially unlike the rye aroma that's coming out with the rest of the right? bill. You, you oh you've never smelled I rye. I have brewing. never. I got your novices. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Come on in. Wow. Come hey, on good to in. See you, man. How you been? Good, good, good. good. But in any case, uh, there is this. There is this extra. Again, like this herbal, like a dark sort of sharpness mm -hmm. that is right there, like cutting through the middle of the. Basically, generally speaking, it's just sweet. Mm -hmm. Like what we're doing here is extracting sugars, right? That's what's. That's what all this stuff is is doing here, and it. it it goes through multiple phases trying mm -hmm. to pull those sugars out. That rye sitting in the middle of it is basically balancing out. It's like a traffic cop for the rest of the sort of unbridled yeah. activity. Yeah. Right? It's rad. Oh, so pleased. This is why, like, when um, Rubens has that rye. That rye week. day yeah. of all just rye beers, we have. We well, no, and we it. did. And it's like, it's like we were there and it's like we had six a piece, but then we like parted them out. Just to see, yeah. just because it sets off the rest of that. It sets off the rest of the way you build a beer. Right. Right. All right. Hey. So now that we have Trevor, okay. What does it mean? What does it mean Whoa. to be Trevor in liquid form? You need to think about what grows on the outside of a dog. You need to think about the kind of organisms that live in and around the dander. And Within, about, without. The dog, the what kind of clumps form? On the surface How big? of a hound person. What is the coefficient of friction that prevents them from growing larger? What's <laughs> exactly. the optimal size? Exactly. What's the scenario? What's the range? I don't know. Uh, so How so does it change across the body? <laughs> <laughs> so what are we talking about here? If we're talking about T-Rav, because we, we've covered a bunch of great styles. Yeah. You know, is there is there something, that, honestly, uh, another like a, another brown ale Another, like a classic brown ale might be good. Yeah. Because so it's, it's going to be something that Trevor has. Now, we already, we approach Trevor but we vis approach vis vis-a-vis the, Doom the Doomgate Inn. Now, do you have any updates on the Doomgate Dark Wine? Oh. I mean, because we, so we brewed that oh. months ago now. And, and so basically, but, but, it's, it's in the carboy, still going to work, yeah, right? Yeah, because it's, it's a barley wine. So yeah. they take a lot longer to ferment, go through secondary, and it'll probably be done 
around the beginning of the year. Really? Because wow. we have we remember we still have trash witch to well that's to, true to taste too. But barley wines you want to let them sit. They get better with age. Well, and we described this before. This is the concept of heat, right? Mm-hmm. So basically, right now, and we had a sample of it early on oh, that okay. I would drink. I would I, w- I would have drank it then, but exactly. But there's you know how you know how it's like if you um. It's like somehow, sometimes you'll get uh, like a cocktail and it'll have a float on it. Typically of a clear spirit, like mm-hmm. a 151 or something like that. This basically tastes like that. Is that the alcohol is like, hey, what's going on in alcohol? And then you have a bunch of these other great tastes. And so the reason that we let it rest is so that the alcohol takes, becomes a team player, functionally speaking. Right, yeah. and it just it, it, this is that mellowing process you've heard about, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so, in order for Doomgate Dark Wine to be what it can be, it has to rest. It has to rest. Can I ask you yeah. one question? Is yes, of a, course. Is, is that a physical? That's what act? I want. That that the alcohol, that that flavor, is that a physical or a chemical thing, where you let it rest? It's got well. I mean, it, it, drawing a distinction between physical and chemical, I think, would be. Oh, I mean, like like. Could it be accelerated if it was physical by just going and mix it up? No, no, you know no. I mean? and anytime you go in there and disturb it, um, so there's a there is a change taking place, which oh, is why you want to wait. Definitely, okay. definitely. Um, so, so are you are you trying to tantalize? Um, so these what, what, what was the first one you wanted to do? We could put a brown ale out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think about a brown ale, but it's pretty. It's pretty, a, by one it's pretty safe. It's, it's a sa- it's a safe bet. But here's another one. Dog beer. It's How about, uh, think about it. <laughs> God, get it right. Real dog. No. Um, we could do a winter beer, which is spiced, cinnamon, clove. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go real. I'm gonna go hard dog on this with you. <laughs> Check this out. Play bow brow. <laughs> this is play bow bow wow. That's dog sound traditionally. Then you've also got the suffix. Which I, as a neophyte, don't understand the origin of, but that's that's where you come in. I just have great ideas. It's up to other people. I just wake up in the morning and I piss excellence. No big deal. That's that's what you're going with. <laughs> so it's like. other people to manifest them. Chris, I, you know what? Listen, I just I want to take a moment to appreciate you. Thank you for coming on the show. Um, somebody like somebody, I know I've been nourished. Somebody mentioned that they appreciated that how long I'm willing to just kind of sit with a terrible joke. And I didn't want to admit that it was a terrible joke. No, I that, that's what I sit it. with them, but it's what I do. Well, okay, yeah. so is that why is that why you crave the is that why you crave the anti humor? Maybe so. Yeah, because it's very meta. It's almost a meta meta. It's level. A jo- it's a joke about jokes. It's a joke about how this didn't work at all. Well, you know, yeah. it's almost like creating. It's like um, it's like a, a plaster casting yeah you're basically creating like with negative space you're creating everything around a joke yeah i don't want to see the the, the joke i don't want to see the sculpture <laughs> it's like Just you can me. see in that <laughs> space oh the humor within it's like there's no humor in yeah. it but you can see it just as a negative transfer you're like, oh right i'm yes. imagining like a 3d print with all those struts and all that <laughs> stuff just, stick you it just out. rip the print yeah. out and then you, i'm just gonna <laughs> you, have, this, you have a perfectly good last. joke yeah all right um so I, I think that is great. So winter ales um, tend to be uh, mulled, spiced, right. and that sort of like we, mulled we, wine we, continuum, right? Yep. But they have but they have that uh, the high malt content, so it's kind of sweet and good. Exactly. Um, I think that would be a really neat one because it it plays off of Trevor and the Doomgate too. Exactly. So, you know. Yeah, between brown between brown and winter, I feel like we're pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I think we're 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 good. You let you let us know. So we're talking about um, the winter ale is going to be. Uh, potable, friendly, very much a uh, an anti-chill potion. Um, its purpose is to accompany one uh, in the reading of books by fires. Uh, the phrase um, "eminently drinkable." Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Um, brown ale is fine. Whatever, <laughs> it's can you tell which one yeah. I want to make? <laughs> Brown ale is it's liquid a, garbage. It's, fucking, it's, it's, it's bad. filth. The only thing worse <laughs> is sour. 
I was gonna say you that's just really where you're going with that. Sour that, brownie. That, yeah, yeah. Sour brownie <laughs> wants that. Nobody, nobody wants that. <laughs> no, no. Honestly, I love, I love brown. a. Honestly, like I think brown ales are definitely underrepresented. I think there's a lot of headroom actually in brown ale, but um, it is winter, right? And so a couple weeks later, I mean, near the end of the month, this would even be ready this for us will to be get ready for our holiday party. Exactly right, as they say. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Get a load of this. Hey. So I like this winter ale. That's where we're going. Now, let's take a moment, now that we have our sort of struts in place, mm -hmm. right, to talk uh -oh. about the party that we went to. Did you kill it already? <laughs> you freaking what alcoholics. <laughs> I didn't even get. I've only had three. I, I haven't had even had one. One. Uh, you monsters. <laughs> Alyssa? Add two. Add two, Alyssa. <laughs> She's fired. Five is larger than your total blood volume, Alyssa. <laughs> I, I have to get this found beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I can see that we obviously there's going to be some. There's going to be a couple pages added to the employee manual. <laughs> um, just to govern some of these novel. Uh, interactions, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I mean, do we get an <coughs> HR on this? I mean, no, no, no. Okay. The drawn and courtier. So for a very, very brief period, the drawn and courtier became a real place. Oh God, yeah. Right. I, I was. I, I'm, I'm giving you. This no, is, no, no, no. You, you, they're, they're, you, you do no, this. You, no, you are no, no, so good no, at no, it. No, no, no. This is like the, that's like the flocking, like around that warm window. Yeah. Inside, there's the light of the hearth. You know that people are happy and safe within. I'm just flocking that glass. I, I know you have a lot of feelings about this, but I, I will tell the story if you, if you want me to. Tell the story, because I'm going to try and pull yeah. the picture up. So, Clues and St. Brian, mm -hmm. uh, with the help of Airbnb, because we're trying to figure out where to host this thing. With the help of Airbnb, functionally speaking, they were able to secure a party venue, right? Yeah, that's right. They kind of go. Oh, that's dude. Super rad. It was sick. It was fucking sick. Obviously, Clues lights up any room, um, but St. Brian brought a, a vat, I would describe, something like a hot tub, <laughs> full of pork belly chili. Oh, wow. Oh, it was so, delicious. So instead of, uh, there was some spice, but in general, the, the, the overwhelming thing that you would absorb from it, it's really just like the savory flavors. I've never had a chili that existed in this continuum. And the only thing that, there was beer aplenty, but the only thing that would have improved it, obviously, would be kegs. And so, this is something we have to fix next yeah. time. Um, I think Clues and St. Brian found out that we can rent out space in the Reading Terminal Market. Exactly. Uh, my understanding is that at six, there's availability inside the market for us to get down. Mm -hmm. But in, in any case, because people are often wondering, you know, how can we, you know, how can we have parties? Like, how can we get some of these beers out yeah. to people? I think, uh, I think we, when we're considering PAX Unplugged, I think that we're- That's the option for Unplugged. West is, I, West is gonna be a lot easier. Well, we're just it's local. all here, we just drive we just this drive, shit over. Drive it in and get it But room. the idea that the Drawn and Courtier, which is the, obviously the home base of the C team, um, from where, you know, basically that's where they operate their chapter of Acquisitions Incorporated mm -hmm. with exclusive rights to the Desert and Valley. Um, the idea that the Drawn and Courtier exists is a kind of meta in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That it's more of a concept. It, it it's can like, exist if the it, conditions are right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But I'm saying that, like, something like this, something like this event. It was special. It was special. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I can't say enough about it. Like, you know, a lot of the work, and, I, and we all sort of, we, we get this, right? It's what yeah. we do. A lot of the work that we do is very solitary. And so when you go to something like PAX Unplugged and you and you have a chance to meet the people who your work connects with, like, it's, yeah. it's, it's a lot to take if what you do most of the time, at least in my case, is basically just like sit in the dark with your friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? Right, yeah. yeah. Getting to see them as a human, right? Also, because it's different, like <laughs> at an event like this versus across on a table. Exactly, where the interaction is very different. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But it's like, so you you see somebody, and it's like, it's like, it's like, hey, what's up? My name is Jerry, and they're like, oh, hey, you know, I'm Caldronon. Yeah. And it's like, motherfucker, we're not shaking hands. Like, we're not shaking hands. Like, we're gonna do this 
for real. Like we're actually gonna shake bodies. Exactly yeah. right. We're gonna, we're, we're, we're gonna writhe as one. <laughs> that's not true. Um, you that, did it twice. That earthworm tell you. chasing. <laughs> that's the key. Well, mate, we're gonna we're gonna get moist. Yeah. Now, so get a load of this. Yeah, I guess that's true. Why fire? What do you say? Well, we're using the drawn and courtier branding, but wandering <laughs> crypt is actually. <laughs> Wandering Crypt is actually That's superior. Brilliant! It is substantially That's actually superior. That's brilliant. That's better, actually. We'll, oh, we'll go back and forth. Yeah. Hey, you don't want to drain a crypt. <laughs> I don't know. I do. Some do. What Some are you do. About? Listen, 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 you know what you're doing right now? Crypt. They're yucking yum. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody has a yum. I want to drink in a crypt. You're like, no. Yeah. Not in my watch. Uh, if I only drink in the fanciest of places. Not in my crypt. <laughs> Not yeah, in my exactly. crypt. Keep that pristine. Yeah. <laughs> That's for the dead. Jeff! Dude, no, no, Josh, listen, Jeff has... I'm trying to... He's getting like every last drop. That's and I agree, because it's delicious. No, listen, just gonna, the Jeff, the foam will turn Fella. into beer. At a certain point, like, I gotta, I gotta give the man props. Yeah. He's, he's willing to just like, yeah, yeah, he's willing to just like, put his lips on this yeah, thing. I gotta, I gotta give him props 100%. for his problem. Yeah. Okay, well, now, let's, let's move forward with our winter ale scenario. Yes. All right, so winter so, ales are fun because you can do anything with them. Yeah, the style the style is not like the rails are not super no. sturdy. On it's this. like what do, what do we want this to taste like? What do we want it to look like? And then we'll just add some, you know, spices into it. Oh yeah, that soft rub. Well, what listen, and we know. I mean, and we know. I don't want to interrupt, but we know perfectly well. Obviously, if you've been to you know, Acquisitions Incorporated, uh, you've been to Acquisitions Intoxicated, you've absorbed this concept. Yeah. You know perfectly well that rubbing the grains and singing to the grains, don't worry, it's gonna happen. Yeah. yeah it, people have been upset you. Not <laughs> no, no, it, right? it does two things. It does two things. One, head retention. So important. So, so important. Two, creamy mouthfeel, right? This is generated as a direct result of not only rubbing the basket itself, which you've seen, but also singing to the grains. Here, you know what? Now, Crasp. Oh, yeah. You have never, you are an excellent singer, but you have, you have never, can we have a guest vocalist? Yes. Oh, didn't I sing last time? Yeah, I think you did. I don't, not, which is not to but say But we, we have to get you a towel. But I'm trying to remember what I sang. Yeah, exactly. Well, in either case, I think it'd be quite safe. If you want to sing to these greens here, I will I will give them the affection they need. Well, let me but you know, here, so, so, so you, there was a foam problem last time. Well yeah. no, exactly. Like you you did not have the option <laughs> of giving this the type of the type of interaction that it needed because you were surrounded. It was it's very have you ever read God Emperor of Dune? Mm. No. But ultimately the Emperor yeah. is, is no, completely encrusted by these sand trout. I love how they're all calling you the foamsman. This is a, right. amazing. Yeah, I'll now, take it. Uh, anyway, Sand trout, sorry. But here, so if you if you got some, if you have some, yeah, give, uh, give me some, some melody. Give me some because honestly, the only thing that's coming to mind Dude, isn't this isn't this a crazy thing? Right. It's like you must know a thousand songs, but it's like if somebody says, "Hey, why don't you sing a song?" Huh? <laughs> it's <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. and then no. it, sing a song to. Grains. No, the, like the only thing that comes to mind is that song that you sent me that one time, a long time ago. The Christmas song? No, no, no. The one. The uh, one I made you as a present? Yeah. That was, oh, really? I'm still thinking about your voice right now. Thinking about that that sweet voice. Really? Well, you can't. I even recorded remember that. It, can you? Well, no, I, no, I, I, I think I know it, but I mean, understand this. So Chris and I have been friends for a while, but there was a weird part at the beginning where it's like, we didn't know if the other person. Wanted to be friends. I don't want to bother him because he's too busy. <laughs> exactly, yeah. and so it's like we would be like, we would like meet and ha like hang out, but like there was no, you know how Selsun Blue penetrates the scalp, right? Everybody does. Yeah. You know how cheap love that mal, mal kiosk lotion mm. never gets absorbed, and it's constantly sort of a Criscovian <laughs> sort of it's not you know unpleasant. It it unrewarding. Is, yeah. nah, it's like a coating, right? Um, and so many of our initial interactions were like that, but I actually really love Chris Straub. And so I made him a song about, God damn it. it was I so, made a song in return. It's so Did fucking you? insane. Yeah. It was a back I'll and forth song off? Well, it was just a two, it was just a pair. Yeah. But, but, I, but I had literally had no setup for recording. Do yeah. you know how I recorded songs on the guitar back then? Probably straight into that old, like that gateway PC. Oh God, mic. yeah, you remember that stuff? beige <laughs> looking plastic. No. I had a, a pair of headphones that had the boom mic. 
I would put the headphones because they have that soft cup. Did you yeah. put them up next to the amp? I put the headphone around, like on the on the guitar, so the guitar is wearing it, and then I would put the boom mic down by the sound hole, and then I would play like way higher up oh, on the that. strings. God, if that's not a shirt, I don't know what is. That's so interesting. I, so I, I think that's why, because the guitar is a little bit twangier. Like when you pluck the string higher up, it's much looser. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I remember trying to mimic that with, or not that specific sound, but just like playing an electric with without the amp. And getting used to it, like ah, I like that noise. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That, could, that could work. Okay, well, well, Jesus Christ, it was completely fucking insane. It's like, um, <laughs> uh, let me start you off. No, is de denim? If denim's made from dynamite, all blue and cold through stellar flight, do you think space might be the source of love? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. And if yodels hail from Baudelaire, um, floor mats torn from, from matted hair, hair. Uh, do you think could I get some love? And then and the chorus the cat on there. Exactly. No, no. And then the chorus is, um, hey, hey, love, woo hoo, hoo hoo, hoo love. Yeah. Hey, hey, love. Also, ah ha, ha, love. Ha. And then it was hey, love, hey, love. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then the cat. For some reason, like that was that was Tim Tam. Like Tim Tam always had some shit to say on these Come fucking in and do tracks. It. Yeah, I had a couple because because I did a I did a track for um, that Brad Sucks did that spam compilation. Yes. And so I did a track. That's the other one I did. I did, yeah. a, I, I did a, a song for that too. And my cat's all over that track. Like it should be like Jerry Holkins' feet Tim Tam. Like. He's like fifty no, percent of the fifty percent of the fucking vocals on this song. <laughs> Why even are differentiate? Cats. Yeah, I just thought that was like a throat singing component. Of no, 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 no. It's it. Tibetan. Uh, thank you so much, Tenuous. So, so yes, thank you very much for giving these grains the affection that they need, the affection they deserve. Mm. Now, winter ale. So the world is our oyster when we come to brewing this beer. So a winter ale is anywhere from five to ten percent. So let's start with that. What do we want our ABV? Oh, okay. Yeah. So is this big? Yep. Like, do, do, we, do we want one of these? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is, it is the holiday season, right? So I mean, yes, yeah. revelry is on brand, but um, yeah, God, that's interesting. Yeah, right? to think about it from those because I'm trying to imagine the the other circumstance where you'd actually want less. It's like right. this is a lean time. And we did the best we could. Right, but yeah, know, the but harvest that's, was, that's the, we got yeah. through it, right? Yeah, but that's not winter. Yeah, yeah but as I, but if, when you think about, obviously there's a lot to think about when you start considering beer, but when you think about it as a means of storage, mm. right? right? Like it's a pretty efficient way um, to store alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Well, as, as an alcohol storage methodology, well, wow. But also, like, take it, take it way back to, I'm gonna go with Viking era, you got people together for Yule, Really, just to get them into a room to get everybody warm, exactly, and drinking and exactly. not freezing in the cold. Well, yeah, yeah, and especially, but a lot of those, a lot of the the beers, at least like culturally from from that slice of time, yeah, like the sort of like the mead, mm -hmm. basically like the the alcohols that you would make were basically like with leftover a leftover honey from a comb, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. All right, now, <laughs> Dave? <laughs> Dave, listen, something bad happened. Yeah. Here, 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 here. it's okay. It's, it's, it's your Jeff. cheat day. It's called Jeff. It's called Jeff. Hurricane Jeff fucking destroyed it. Did he He drank the whole keg. It's gone. Yeah. Did he really just... It's gone. gone. Oh, yeah. He ruined it. So it's super roasty, he brought right? A bunch and of then you friends, get a little bit I of blueberry on the back of the don't know what roasty means. Like, roast, uh, coffee like. Coffee like. Okay, I get that. Coffee in. Coffee warm. And there'll be a hint of blueberry. I'll take a knee. Back. Because you're vast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just like, hello, I want you to, welcome to Axel <laughs> the Top Grade. It's me, uh, Jerry Holkins. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm joined by uh, Eric Benson, and uh, Chris Stroud, and Dave's D hole. <laughs> um, we'll be. An top honored guest. Yeah. 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 Top off for you. A full you draft. It's good. It's, um, how is that going to change as it uh, continues to? Well, if we were, if we had more, <laughs> we'll yeah. never know. We'll never freaking know. Uh, oh, um, so it's like gone. At it's point. gone. Exactly. All all that would happen is the right now the blackberry is there and it's much more present at the end. Functionally speaking, what would happen is that these flavors would become gooey. Uh, well, no, yeah, better commingled. Sure. Right. It, they would become more uniform, yeah. and and the blackberry wouldn't stand out as much at uh -huh. the end. It would be it would be in concert with the other stuff. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Thank you for letting me drink your cup. Well, hey, it's all good. It's all good. Hey, so, uh, as always, uh, the channel, 
um, you know, in their youth, they were drawn to extremity. But now um, that they're cultured. Exactly, but now that they've more, been... A, their senses are more refined. Acculturated. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, they're, they're looking for a seven. They're looking for something right in the middle there. It's got to be big, but it's not, you that's know... That's fine. Like, that's not a, it's, that's not a bad thing. It's perfect. Okay, so let's talk about um, the color. Fire away. Color is, again, our oyster. We can go from 7 to 50 SRM. And I'll show you the scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Pull it up. Josh, you want to hit that um, that scale for everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I have, I mean, I have never seen a winter ale that was not on the darker scale, but that doesn't mean that we can't do shit our own way um, right. as we want to do. So when I see, the winter ales that I've seen that are really interesting are on like the 17 and 18, where they're just on the precipice of being dark. So oh. we, there's so many cool options, right? There you go. It's, you know, and all this, honestly, so, and then leave or it. Or like, look at 25. Yeah. Like that's Leave just it like, unfiltered. Yeah. Right? So it's just, so the it's present in the glass, yeah. right? I like that. Here, so let's say. So let, let's let's pick three three different numbers of where mm-hmm. we want to go with this. And we can go up to fifty, which is almost stout color too. So don't don't uh, don't Except us, and it, and no it, fret. It, it doesn't go crazy on the flavor. Remember that SRM yeah. is coming from a specific. The, the malts are designed to impart that. Right. We can add small amounts of it. Don't worry about the taste yet. We're just talking about you pour this out. You have a glass of it. This is what What's it looks that like. experience, yeah. right? But functionally speaking, it's like the UI. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we're just doing some basics well, here. Well, what's interesting because you know we as humans, when we look at something, that almost determines if we're gonna we're gonna like it or not. Exactly. You know, we already have preconceived notions, so. Yeah, I'm wondering if it was like you must have wanted that contrast. I mean, the method probably dictated it, but Which? if it's a winter ale, why not have it be as light as possible to evoke oh. that driven snow? Yeah, that's but good. it's a little bit, a little bit yellow. I don't know if you want that in your snow. I mean, some, I well, mean, yeah, some I mean, people, yellow, but, some people pay for that sort of thing. Yeah, but yellow it's in terms of it, but from. the interactions <laughs> between the color yellow and then the snow. Yeah, I mean, these are recognized. Oh Classic. no! Oh, here, no. Carol, listen. Oh, oh, here, come on, come, come here now. I want to, I want to tell you something that is About very shameful man. that Jeff did. Yeah. What did he do? He drank all of it. Oh, yeah. And, what? and what? I just got a text. We have to go get him from jail. Yeah. Yeah. Jail. Yeah. That He's quick. in prison. Go, that quick. <laughs> punch him. This is what I want. Yes. I would love here. to see that. Can we do this on camera? Here, but we have a little bit left for you to try. Give it a try. Oh no, it does, this yeah. right here, this is gonna be something special. So this is gonna be, uh, you're gonna get a lot of roasted uh, coffee flavors? Don't, don't prime the, don't yeah. prime the, don't prime the, the customer. Okay. Yeah. You know, let's let's you see what, that that let's see what Carol says. Jeff, he got a, a, oh, he got a, a coffee share. up his yin yang. Yeah. Wow. It's really cool, right? He's enjoying it. Ex- yes, what exactly. What is that? Blackberry. Oh. Right at the end, oh, like please. Like candy, kind of. Yes, exactly. Waiting at the end. Yeah. Th- that is the that is the Blackberry promise that we offer here at Acquisitions Intoxicated. The pledge. The pledge. The pledge. I understand why. To Blackberry. Oh, I, 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 you, you I, know I, how it no, might be? No, no, I, I can't. There was a much. lot of enthusiasm uh, for this product, absolutely. Oh, the pledge. You're going to enjoy some beer. Amazing. The turn. Oh. Somebody drink all the beer. What's the prestige? Marvelous. Prestige, Thank Jeff, you. is Thank the you, one Carol. and Thank he's you. not in here. Now. <laughs> He got out. He got out. He drank more beer at mine than I had. Check them out. Check them out. I love this. Oh, look at that! Three. What a really cool so color. Gonna, exactly right. It's going to be in that sort of cafe ole. <laughs> ole ole. Right. Ole. Yeah. Right there in the middle. So I love That's that. That's a fantastic color. Okay. Well, exactly. We can work with that. Yeah. Right. Oh, interesting. Because it's. It. I mean, it evokes. I don't want to say the holidays, but it kind of does, right? It. it it what has that, that feeling of what, warmth no, it's, it's, no, by the heart, it's right? Warmth. Yeah, that's the key. Now, so if we're thinking about so as a precursor to whatever we do next in mm-hmm. terms of grains and stuff, do we like the idea? So uh, it's not getting sour, damn it, Jesus! No, that's never <laughs> not on my watch. <laughs> All right, no. Do you remember um, Velvet Rope? Yeah. So Velvet Rope had that Tet uh, hop that, for whatever reason. In the like in the mix yeah. in that body ended up 
having a good, right. warm, spicy taste, right. even though there was no spice in it. Right. And unlike an extract or, or the, like the physicality of the blackberry, mm -hmm. which is very, very good, unlike that, for some reason, because it came from the hop integration with the beer, it was never cloying. No. So for me, that's the standout thing about rope. Right. Well, right? well and especially for rope. Like when we were at that SCA event, I think we both took a sip, looked up, and it just mesmerized by the fact of the spice coming off. No, of no. This I literally beer. said, what the fuck? Yeah. Because there's no spice in it. No, none. There was none. But and it there's was barely hops. any hops. Yeah. Anyway, so I, I think that I think that as we move forward, yeah. whatever spicing we do, we should consider backing it up with a classic tet. I, I, I agree, yeah. but we'll let the you know we'll let the chat we'll talk figure it out. Oh, but it's going back in. I'm Ooh. glad I'm glad we're having that conversation because the next thing we need to think about is how bitter do we want this beer to be. Once again, it ranges from five to fifty. Now, fifty is the higher oh, end IBUs? of IBUs for an IPA. Yeah. So not a double IPA that goes to the freaking moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for an I like beyond I the tongue's ability yeah, to yeah. taste. Yeah, no, the moon, werewolf. The moon. Gotta get in there. The moon it's as it comes it comes in. Uh, yes. La lune. La lune. Um, so do we? Where do we? This is for the chat. Where do oh, we? Totally. Where do we want our bitterness to fall on this? Do we want it to be a lower IBU so we get a lot more of the malt flavor and the the spice that we put in? Do we want? You know, something in the 30 uh, to 33 range where we're going to get some real... This is where the tet will come into play mm -hmm. and um, give us that spice mm -hmm. that, that we're thinking about, that bitter spice. Mm. You'd think you'd want it low because it's not a time for bitterness. No, it's time, it's time to, to put it aside. Yeah, it's a choice. Yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, that's the choice, right? So this, the, the mouth story, if you will, um, <laughs> that we're trying to concoct, it's a term. Uh, no, no, not well. It wasn't before several seconds. It's a term ago. now. Yeah, um, is basically we want to try to make a we want to try to make a evening at home with friends that you can drink. Yeah. Um, and so conceptually, every act that we put toward this, we want to be in that continuum, mm. right? On the other side of that, though, you may not you don't want to go too far. Like you only want to use a little bitterness as a deterrent. Because you get a lot of fans. Oh, for in weevils. Room. Yeah. <laughs> Put around the baseboards, you know? <laughs> and keep them out. <laughs> <laughs> dip, 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 dip. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking weevils. Sorry. Uh, please but, continue. But look, look at, I, I'm, so, I'm so happy how he's grown. Right? Uh, he's, he's using he's term terminology. Yeah, he's, no, but he's listen. Coming on, you know, but, he's, but, he's making great choices. But look, it's yeah. Great. We're, so, uh, we're, smile, we're, your we're son, good. we could not be more proud of you. But no, no, I mean, but that's really it. The idea that. The idea that th it is possible that the medium is sophisticated enough yeah. to communicate a, a concept—that's mm -hmm. um, the assumption, I think, of the yeah. show. Anyway, uh, so higher, we're looking for—it's um, just—it's it's just bigger. Yeah. So we could let's say like ten IBUs, which is going to be very low. We're not yeah. going to get much bittering. It's going to be all malt forward. Uh, yeah, malt warmth. Yeah, uh, a thirty IBU. Which is going to give us that spiciness that we're pro will probably put into this, but <clears throat> right. it's up to the stream. You're going to get a lot more bitter, or we can go straight fifty and be this is verging on IP IPA territory. Mm -hmm. But the IPA that has all these winter spices yes. involved. Yeah, I feel like you'd want to lean into that spice. Right. It doesn't mean that at a higher uh, bitterness that you lose the spice. No, no, you wouldn't lose. No, the no, spice. no. Because because imagine that these imagine that these flavors. Just just think about, think about, your human tongue. Right. Each of these flavors or exists. Tongue, I mean, whatever. But they exist in their own parallel, mm -hmm. right? And so the spice aspect that can exist in concert, the apparatus is capable of doing them all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. It's just a matter of you know how how hard do we want to throw each of these individual levers, right? right? Um, a winter ale that was like an IPA, I have never heard of it. Neither have I. So I, I, there's, there's a lot of experimenting we could do with it. Yeah, but um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, absolutely. But while we're, while the, the chat is going, let's take a look at the grain itself, the color that's coming off the bottom. Oh yeah, yeah. So so now we're in the the we're we're moving through the mash here yeah. at the second temperature tier. Yep. This is. I mean, twice as dark. Right. Josh, can you pull up the beer smith? 
<clears throat> now, if look at the color on the um, the glass. Oh, oh. So that's what it's really going to turn into, and we're already mm -hmm. halfway there. So we're going to get that golden, beautiful golden color on that IPA. Mm -hmm. So it's just fun. It's for me. It's fun to see this process taking place. Oh as yeah, the, as the color I mean, gradually the, 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 changes. Like, Again, like the SRM, these are ratings that are on the grain. Yeah. It's like a property. Imagine if you could right click on a grain and then like go down to properties and like look at all the values. Like that SRM value is a completely known quantity. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you can do all these calculations in here and they they read true. I mean, I, we've, we've basically hit the color that we're talking about. Yeah, that's um, my dream. Just in the second just round. right click on anything. Right? Yeah. That, that's the key, that's the key. All right. Cool. So, damn, so. Ooh. There's there's a war brewing, so to speak, um, between the ten and between the uh, the the ten and the army of the thirty. Oh, thirty's running ahead. <laughs> right. Yeah, I was gonna lean to. Yep, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait ten, 10 more seconds. Yeah. If you if you got something to say about this, you gotta let it, you gotta let me know. Oh shit. See, you would think that those people who are down at the ten, you think that these would be meek, unassuming individuals. Mm -hmm. But look at how look at the battle they're waging here. You, you know. They, know? They, they, they oh, is it, oh wow! It's I didn't realize it was that uh, that close. Yeah, I I'm excited. Like for us, this would be in the lower range. Mm. You know, the the the, tor the sorts of beers that we've produced as a community. This is down there, like in terms in terms of the raw IBU in this space. It works for. A winter ale. Yeah, but, I all love right. it. Yeah, that's it. Man, we're going for this. We're going for this ten. Okay. So this is going to be very, very friendly in here. And what yeah. that what that means is that we can use we can use hops. They just can't be crazy pants. No, so yeah, it's not going to go over. Well, and and here's the thing, we don't need uh, the hops. Is not is not what's going to make this beer delicious. It's going to be the the flavors of the malt and the exactly and the um, <coughs> the alternative spices that we put in. Exactly. We the, the, the hop, exactly. The hop basically it has to stay out of the way. Yeah. But if we if we go with like the tet, that's going to add a little bit of spice. And but we'll, we'll, we can get to that. It's very very good. So first, let's talk about our base malts. Now we have base, base. and we're Common gonna, we're gonna malts. drop it yeah so two we'll go with two choices one is going to be our standard two row um this is going to be you know crisp and clean yeah two <coughs> row is all over the place yeah all day yeah um it'll give us a more crisp and clean taste or we can use munich malt which is oh, a, the see, german base yeah malt. but much more caramel right caramel it's gonna it's gonna give us that red uh, uh, an amber to red coloring, mm. um, and also a little more um, toffee flavor too. So those are the two ways we can look at this, saying okay, we want this to be a little cleaner, so that the spices shine through more. Exactly. Or, or are we, we gonna make to... a sweet sticky bed? Yeah. Yeah. Where spices may rise. Yeah. Where Trevor sleeps. Exactly. <laughs> a sticky ass bed. That stick? <clears throat> exactly. Uh, so imagine a young werewolf that you can drink. Yeah. And <laughs> I have to go to, yeah, I'm going to number two as well. To everybody. I, 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 uh, has this ever happened? I don't think this is, I, I want to see how long this goes because this has never happened. There's like, there's going to be 50 votes in there just for this, but I get it. Oh, yeah. Off of the 10. I get it. Like I mean, this it, it is makes where you sense, would go. right? Because you want that. You want a, a different little. You know, Ooh. want flavoring. Ooh, oh, oh, trail. Oh, up, up, up. Oh, oh, oh God! Oh, heathens! What's going on? Well, what's what is this Satanism? This devilry? Warlock! <laughs> ah, ah, mm. Listen, you fiends! I'm putting a stop at this <laughs> before, before it, it gets any bigger. Has to be the one. <laughs> be the one. No. It, listen, you would have you would have had to. <laughs> You would have had to get put ads on buses and stuff. Like, you, you would have you would have had to try to engage the community to increase that. So, uh, Munich, I like what I'm seeing, um, and that's what we want to, like that flavor. And also, like this is the thing. So well, while we're while we're making the recipes, I know that you probably do this too. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about. Oh God, oh, Alex! There's, you totally no, missed it. There's a sip. There's, Alex, you have the have you will have the last sip. Oh. Alex, how are you? I'm good. How are you guys? I, I'm, 
I marvelous. Didn't know the wizard started at noon. You know, yeah, well, dark, you, you didn't realize Jeff would be involved. Well, no, you, you, you didn't know about Jeff's dark thirst. Yeah. I emailed Nathan too, and I was like, "You better save me some beer. I'm coming in." <laughs> Jeff, no, he wasn't the problem. No, he was not the problem. Oh, Jeff I it. drank half the keg. Right, well, I'm still in your last. <laughs> yeah, go for it. I had to hope. Alex, I tried. I oh yeah, just keep Here. keep pouring that foam in there. It'll, it'll turn yeah, into a beer. Yeah, I'll take foam. Put some right. of those drops in there. Clear that down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking drops. Half, 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 them half drips and drops. grabs. Them yeah. drips. Them drips. But you're good. Very good. Oh my goodness. Right? It's so good. Oh. Haircut A plus. Thank you. A plus. All right. Uh, so, so we have we've got a good thing going here. Like, I mean, already we have a good thing going on. Oh, yeah, I don't want to. We're done. Profile, we're just done. Let's the profile is ready to go, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's. <laughs> let's talk about. I'm ready to drink it. Let's yeah, just, let's just pull it off that little icon. You can also mom, simulate mom, mom. whether or not you would like it. Here it yeah, is. Well, what? It, it requires. No, I don't like it, it. There's a peripheral. Yeah. But I mean, I know as soon as we start putting in that content, as soon as we start sort of uh, establishing the parameters, I'm already trying to figure out how. This moment will be maybe an hour, hour and a half into the stream where, you know, what does it smell like mm -hmm. here back in the brew shop, basically. Yeah. Um, and I know that that Munich is going to be right now. But look at this. I can already tell that this is distinct with the addition of the rye. It is just much more, it's much stickier. Mm -hmm. Like it's binding, it's binding all of this together. Right, it looks different. It, it you, just <clears throat> Usually that hot water augers straight through the top. Um, right. This is, this is mounted a pretty substantial defense. What are you thinking? Are you, are, you, are you thinking about a secondary malt? Yeah, I'm trying to, to balance think, it. Well, not even to balance it. I'm trying to play off a little bit of your fantasy and use oats. But Oh, um, oats would be great for winter. It'd be interesting to try, especially because we are, <coughs> you know, using oh, a darker you. colored yeah. beer. Yeah. It's not a light beer. True. Um, so, and that's where you really want to bring some oats in. Um, it's gonna add body, mouthfeel, <gasps> head retention, almost like singing. Mm. Yeah, it's 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 basically like the grain version of a song, mm -hmm. right? So we could we could throw in some oats. Um, I don't want to go too so heavy. So oats, yeah. So mouthfeel. Now, here's another one that we could throw in. Um, special roast, kind of like special B, but special roast. Oh, well, 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 will that help us fix our SRM? Um, well, yeah, that's going to bring the SRM in. Yeah. But it's going to give us um, a very uh, toasted biscuit flavor, like cookies. Oh, yeah, right. With Along with the color. Mm hmm. <clears throat> now, I feel like I haven't sold oats correctly here. Give me some more adjectives. Cranky. Yeah. Bitchy. Gritty. Grit <laughs> Troubled. Abrasive. Uh, what do you What do you got down there for Satanic. oats? Satanic. I know. I know that when I've had beers that have an oat component, it's a little bit more astringent mm -hmm. um, on the tongue. Mm -hmm. But that's not a sales pitch. Like, what What, what else do we get out of that? <clears throat> Wholesome. Wholesome. Sure. I mean, you you do get the a little bit of that flavoring to oven yeah. oat, right? But it's a, the it's primarily used as a different means of crystal. Where when we use crystal, that gives us head retention and yeah, things yeah, of yeah, that yeah. nature. So this is a way for us to get the same kind of head retention and body, right. but also add this really great um, uh, flavor to it. Yeah, exactly. Oat bearing. Yes, if you have any other questions about oats, like how do the oats taste? Well, I'm sure you've had an oat. You can taste your right? oats at home. Yeah, exactly. Try your home oats. Yeah. See how that treats you. Visit your local library. <coughs> yeah, it's, it's like LeVar Burton for oats. <laughs> but for oats. Hmm. It's not an anti oat. Like it didn't get sold. Well, correctly. no, I was just going to yeah. say the oat. Um, the oat lobby said no. Yeah, exactly. They were like, no, no, no. We don't know how we feel about this oat. Yeah, special oh, roast. Oh man, so we're done here on the malts, dude. Nope. We have one more that you we can think? put. Yes, and we're gonna bring oats back. <gasps> oh, 
Oats back on the menu, boys. <laughs> what, what was that? That was special rose. Yeah, I mean, right now I'm I'm only still on the stream so that I don't like stand up and betray how drunk I am. <laughs> <coughs> no, you stand up. <laughs> I bid you <laughs> good day. <laughs> <laughs> You, so, you start knocking over Josh's shit. That's not the eggs. You gotta go that way. You were right next to it before. Mm hmm. It's gonna be a lot of. So, what, so what you got? So, what's what's this? Oh, I know exactly where. Kara Munich. Yep, yep, yep. So, yep, yep. we're gonna use. We can either vote between oats or Kara Munich because they're gonna do the same thing for the beer. They're gonna improve head retention and body. But one is going to give us a, a, they're going to give us two different distinct flavors where the Care Munich's going to bring out the malt. Exactly. It's going to, you know, emphasize the malt The main flavor. thing is the body. I think, because that, that comes along with that level, mm -hmm. like with the malt, mm -hmm. that sort of like syrupy, that rich body, mm -hmm. that's straight out of there. Yep. So do we want to emphasize the body <clears throat> of the malt or do we want to bring in that oak? Uh, that, nutty that nutty oak, oak sort flavor. of taste. Well, you got to take it back to Trevor. I feel like he's sort of yeah. a, yep. a nutty fellow, <laughs> right? Like, I mean, it's sort of a like a homespun. You know what I mean? What it, was the other? It's option? definitely it's yeah. de it's definitely down home. Yeah. No, well, I'll be honest with you. Munich feels pretty far flung. Well, like we've we've overdone it. Well, not like Trevor on a on a tour. <laughs> He's not going around. He's just yeah. he's like he's trying to maintain the doom gate so he doesn't have time to go and well, really yeah, sample this stuff. If he's gonna travel, he's gonna go like see the biggest twine ball. Yeah. You know? He's not going to Europe at any point. <laughs> that's Ever. too that's too far. He might go to like the European Museum of Wisconsin. Yes. yes. Right? He's curious about it. He's absolutely curious because well, he's he scared. He might go to the New York, New York. Casino. Yes. Mm. And be like, I got it. I don't need to go. Yeah, I'm, Bleaker cult, street. I'm cultured now, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a great street. <laughs> it's it, what, think about it. It's in, it's in contention for Street of the Year. I don't know. Uh, some people say. Sodi. It was given a golden some lamp post from the streets. Exactly. Right now. Ooh. So we got something rich and robust there. Flensed oats. <laughs> Looking at different preparations, different ways to torment the oat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I've always dreamed about tormenting yoat. I don't know about oh, exactly. Yoat, I said yoat, oats. So, so I mean, yoat, yoat, the yoat. An oat, an yoat, oat denied. I mean, you said it's the yoats <laughs> that come through. Right here. A little bit. <clears throat> oats are on it. All right. Man, what a what a delicious bed. Right under there. God damn. So if we look at. Now let's adjust our From numbers. Color, yeah. Right. Well, we have to adjust for ABV first, right? Yeah. So we know seven. that we were going for around seven. So let's bring up the Munich malt to maybe five pounds and see where that brings us. That brings us to about six point one percent. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Our color right now is at sixteen. So let's take that special roast. Mm-hmm. Bring and that up that to roast, two pounds. That roast is special to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Have yeah, see, see your, your, your ABV is going too high. You yeah. gotta reel that shit in, brother. So you're going crazy. Let us bring this down. What were we going for? Seven. Seven. That would be a good base. Oh man. What? So does this thing work? Uh, this thing works even on people. <laughs> you can manufacture say, beings. Finally. You know what I mean? God, I, more time I don't know how you've been doing it. Specs. <laughs> I don't know how you've been doing it at home. But I, um, I was gonna say, could you fit a? Could you have a like draw a curve to to those bottom four down there and have it select in a quantity? I don't know if you, I don't, and map the the amounts. You know mathematically, it's definitely possible. Yeah, yeah, it has mm -hmm. to exist. I don't know that there's a value in it. Right. So we're set. We're at thirty SRM, seven point two ABV. Oh, look at that tasty color. Now let's talk about dim hops. Yeah, exactly. I'm just putting Tet right on the menu. Net. Yep. As as our bittering hop. Because remember, a lot of the flavor from this is going to come from the spices we choose to put in. Exactly. But in our experience, this provided an interesting spice character 
independent of any spice, any true spice edition. Because true spice, as you know, if you are an enthusiast and you get cranked up around October, and then everybody's doing these pumpkin beers, right. Right. and then it's like, oh great, some more of this, some more of this pumpkin spice, yeah. and then your mouth is like, just coated with this sort of like dark hair. Yeah. You don't <sighs> want that. You don't want it. So we'll, we'll, we'll go with the Tet. Yep, spicy, earthy, mild. Mm, what else could we, so what else would we want to think about? In there, with in the continuum. knowledge, right, with the knowledge that you are going to ultimately um, be pairing it with some additional physical spices. Human spices. Interesting. We yeah, spice caraway would be an awesome, yeah. you know, spice caraway would be a saison. Yeah, a black that, pepper saison. Yeah. Imagine that. It's not a flavor I like, like an anise or a, you know. Oh man, licorice. anise in a beer. That would be tough. No thanks. Um, let's talk about Fuggles. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Much like Muggles, but with an F. But a um, compressed flower version. Yep. Uh, this is going to be a little milder in flavor. It's going to give us a soft, grassy, and floral aroma. So it's taking it in a different direction. So, oh, it's yes. gonna give us more you know floral. What? Until until I went out to Philly, mm -hmm. and I had what they were talking about. Mm. Um, what was that beer? It was Miss Piggy. Yeah, it was something like that. It was it was insane. Like I, I had one, and it was gone in seconds, just because it was so juicy. Yeah. But I, again, like I had never had a beer that was in that floral continuum. Mm. That didn't taste, like there wasn't like a perfume aspect. Right. I, I never actually understood what floral meant inside of a beer profile yeah. uh, until I had one of those Northeast right. style IPAs. <laughs> and it, was, <laughs> it was so funny that, you know, the way this culture is growing is like, I'm from the Northeast, there was no Northeast IPA. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Like, what the fuck is this well, IPA? There you know? wasn't, right? Yeah. But basically what they're trying to do is establish them as distinct from ours. Yeah. And so the best part is you sit down, they don't know where you're from. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, you know, a lot of those West, a lot of those West Coast IPAs. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, fucking choose your words carefully. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Motherfucker. Yeah, but better watch what you say. Try to start some shit. <laughs> um, but, but no, they're not, they're not wrong. You punch a bartender in the face? <laughs> I almost did. They're <laughs> not wrong, right? No, no. They're not wrong. There's a lot of, there's a lot of stunt beers. Right. It's just true. That's, it's just that's true. That's PNW, I'm not saying anything. Just saying. Yeah. I mean, uh, hey, so hey, listen, all I'm saying is so here tet, in the... It's a Tet. Yeah, tet, tet ruled the roost there. German hops. Boosh. What were we going for the hop count? Who, who remembers? Seven. Seven? No, no, that, that was the um, ten. Uh, oh. seven, seven is the ABV. Uh, we're doing ten on that bitterness. Yeah, right? I mean, it don't take much. There we go. Half and, an ounce. And that's it, right? And so we're not talking about anything crazy. We're not like, doing a ton of hop additions at the end. Exactly. It's, 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 we it's, well, it's like a lot of these British... It's like a lot of the British styles. Yeah. Like, they're not... Like, the hop profile is nothing like we would... Right. Nothing like we would make traditionally. No. Right? Not at all. Not, none of okay, the cool. So, West Coast. So, so spicing, right? What kind of spicing are we talking about in the back of this ale? Let's let's. That's what let's, I'm curious about. Like I, I don't I don't 100 percent know what's traditional. I mean I'm thinking about. Okay, so when I've made these, and it's got to be light. So, it, so I've used mulling spices, but that's just, but that's spice heavy. Like that's yeah, yeah you but in it's the also face. really good. Oh yeah, it's delicious because it makes you feel like the holidays. Exactly. So let's offer a mulling spice because I think that that's something a lot of people know. Like we don't have to talk about that for a long time. But you know what's really interesting too. The mulling spices could go in, will probably go into our boil. There's nothing saying we couldn't throw cinnamon into the oh, fermenter. Oh, no, there we go. See, and that's it. If we throw cinnamon stick in as a dry addition, mm -hmm. once it's in the tank, mm -hmm. I feel like that could be a winner. Yeah. Um, because cinnamon is not going to, it isn't going to get to that nutmeg level right. for those asinine stunt beers. Yeah. That, that, that those, those, those Halloween beers. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's actually a really, really cool right. combo. Right. Right. So let's talk, first let's talk about the boil addition. We can use uh, mulling spices. Yeah. Ginger would be another one. 
just straight throw ginger in there. That is really great, like candy ginger? Exactly, oh yeah, exactly, like candy ginger. Like you would just go and buy candy ginger. Hmm. You'll, what you'll do is you'll put it in a hot bag. Yeah, 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 and yeah. And throw it in and, and keep, at the last and, and 10 minutes. And so it doesn't get gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it doesn't, you know, just doesn't get Wow, you know, okay, so here, uh, candied. I don't think of what else. Let's yeah, and, and obviously, obviously, the amounts are going to be important. Mm -hmm. Like with any of these, we want it to be. We were talking about heat before as a function of the alcohol flavor sort of being in your face all the time. Mm -hmm. I think there's a case to be made. Like we want to use these spices, but we don't want these spices to use us. Right. We don't want to just make a vector for them to abuse people. Right. Right. We want them to be team players in this. Right. Right. So. Um, and thinking about, I think that's the poll, but thinking about this poll is, For dry also, additions. is also thinking about the dry hopping That'll additions. be the next one. That'll be the so next one. So when we think about this, mulling spices or candy ginger, does it go better with a dry addition of cinnamon or clove? Mm -hmm. Which oh, one? absolutely. Yep. Yep, that's a big deal. Yeah, so think about this. So this is the launch phase mm -hmm. for the spice um, additions, right? So think about it from that perspective and then think about what we're going to add into the cold tank. Um, at that point, we're you know when we're talking about dry hopping or whatever, we're just making the beer into an infusion. Yeah. Right. We've discussed it before. It's mm -hmm. something like a tea at that point. Yeah. How do we want to inflect it with a spice? God, it, both of them sound. I mean, either way these go, they sound. They so sound fascinating. really really good. Now there's 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 two. There's a twist I want to do. Yeah. Where we'll, we'll make the one with the with the channel. There is a twist that I've been wanting but to it, throw it, into the like back end. But it's like when we we developed. Um, Hello, friend, and blind faith. Like, I love that concept that we can take this base beer and that we fork made, it. and then say, okay, we have yeah. these hops that we don't know what they are, and we'll throw it right in, and then yeah. change the taste. Exactly. And now we, have, we for this character, we have two different beers we can. Yeah. Use. Okay. This is a this is a toughie. Uh, mulling spice is kind of starting to edge in. Let's see if it can beat candied ginger here in the next yeah. 10, 15 seconds or so. I'd be surprised, but um, we'll see. So with the candy ginger, is it going to release any of that of the sugar? Yes, as well. Definitely. Yep, absolutely. Boil because because that because that's going to be hit with two hundred degree boil. Yeah. I mean that's why you have it in a bag. Mm -hmm. So if we add that, we'll we'll um, we can actually add it into Beersmith, and <laughs> it'll calc. It should probably it'll calculate, calculate the, the sugar yeah. Oh, yeah. modification, right? Yeah. So hey, candy ginger, it is. Cool. Um, that is going to be so Super interesting candy. on that. On that sweet, spicy bed, mm. candy ginger is a really neat way to go for it. What a random... <coughs> See, Bob like the Ninja Goldfish... Too. Yeah. This recommends so, point so, so, Bob the Ninja Goldfish is worried that the candy ginger may need the attention of the foam smith. It might. It might. And, and yet, doesn't that uh, evoke the idea of like a frothing wolf? Oh yeah, indeed. Like this zone here. Mm-hmm. This whole thing, attack. right? And he's not going to attack. Exactly. Nice but one. yeah, so, so we know, for obviously, from the holiday special, the Halloween special for the C team, mm. that um, occasionally people are sent down into the basement to get more barrels. Um, so this would be something that would be more up there. It's either something that is for his private use, mm -hmm. because it's very stressful to run the Doomgate in, or it could be something that he has out there. It could be the sort of thing that Kachikcha is constantly tipping, mm -hmm. right? So what do we want to do for the dry edition? There we go. So let's do, we're either going to put, now that we have ginger locked in, we're either going to put uh, clove or cinnamon. I was going to say, uh, like a, you know, in honor of the chick chaw, like a, like a, a, a worm mantis, like a, like the, the chitin. Ah. You just want to, just want to boil <laughs> it off. Get that, get the bug guts off of there, and I just want that I shell. I just want the chitin, please. That's all. Please. You know me. It's the holidays. Gotta have my chitin. <laughs> there we go. I mean, we're here to celebrate, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I think there's going to be some wrestling here between clove and cinnamon, honestly. I'm in, yeah, I'm excited Because they both happens. work. But I got to say, dude, the, the candy ginger, that's... That's that's, that's curatorial, dude. Yeah. Like that's pretty pretty savvy, pretty savvy selection there. God, I well, what do you what do you think would work? How do you think the flavors would play off each other? The, the, listen, there's no lose the, factor yeah, here. There's no between way clove or cinnamon. They're just different. Clove right? is just clove is going to bring it down into just a, a more earthy, 
darker space. Cinnamon is going to have a little more treble. Yeah. Right? But we don't lose here at all. No, it's We don't lose here at all. Now, uh, I'm going to let that go for another 15. Um, Clove could still win it. Yeah. Clove could still win it, but obviously Cinnamon is it like we don't lose in any anyway in, in any you know state of being this they're all wins. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. I was I'm more curious about Clove just cuz it's the one that I wouldn't choose. You, know you, you I mean? think like, well it because seems it's so like, immediately like yeah ginger cinnamon I get that. Or yeah. the other way around was the oh, more like the spices right right right. And Clove is probably already in All right. With that right advocacy now. I'm going to let I'm going to let another 10 seconds run on this thing. Yeah. That's that's interesting. I never thought about that way. Oh, uh, by the way, um, lavender has been added to the trash. All the trashed witch. Now, did you thief some of that witch? I have not yet. I, there, okay. I, wanted, I wanted the lavender to sink. You in wanted a to get bit. it right. Exactly. So then we should bottle one of those oh, before Jeff gets oh, to it. Yeah. We should bottle one of those and send so it down to Holly. Yeah. Because because you and Holly are working on stuff, right? Yeah. 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 Well, so what's your new project with Holly? Um, we are in tandem doing two different streams together. She's starting this really cool. Um, and she's calling it the friendly table. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be her on a vodcast, nobody else, and she's just going to talk about how to approach D and D um, without any fear, without any anxiety of stepping oh, into that table. Interesting. Just some tools, yeah, like because some social tools. You know, for anybody that has never played D and D, oh, it's spooky as hell. Um, it's so it can be a little nerve wracking to you know figure all this stuff out. Well, yeah, yeah. Go to, a, to go pretend to, a, to be another person. Like I'm here to tell yeah. you right now, I love Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. I have never once played in a pickup game at a yeah. store. But think about going to not a pickup once, game not one time. at a store and then having to sit down for the first time, <clears> having never played, don't know who you're going to be playing with, and then almost being nervous that you don't know all the rules. You don't need to know all the rules, but people don't no, know that. You have to perform, you yeah. feel like. You gotta put something on. Yeah, yeah and, and it's wrong. And you, you don't want to yeah. be judged as like the, I, I'm not you know, good enough at this um, at this game and I'm gonna be shamed for it. There's a mm. lot of stuff that goes into that and plays into anxiety. Exactly. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the concepts that she does on the show and then put them into our live game, a, a live stream. Oh yeah, we we had discussed this. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like um, it's like the concepts that we have for the book, where yeah. you have ingredients mm -hmm. and you have a recipe. Yeah, right. So um, I think her first episode is coming out uh, in two days, on the thirtieth, and then we have a live stream on Sunday with myself, Holly. All Skype. It's all skyped. Myself, hmm. Holly, uh, Jack Patillo from Rooster Teeth, um, Stone Chin. Uh, from Ubisoft and uh, Laser Beam uh, from everywhere on the internet. Oz? <laughs> yeah, from Oz. Yeah. Well, damn, man, that's like a fucking dream team. Yeah. Well, hey, listen, I think I think we got to it, man. I think we got to it. That ginger cinnamon on the back. So we're gonna, what, what, the tet, the tet up front. It was, it was cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yeah, tet up top, offering that sort of spicy flavor without the cloying nature of an actual oh, physical yeah, spice. Yeah, that's fantastic. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look it's, at that. It's going to be crazy pants. Crazy pants. Hey, now we need a name. What are we doing? We need a name for this special Trevor, this Trevridge, if you will. Hmm. Hair of the dog is obviously a tet offensive. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, I like cozy. I'm gonna do with. I'm gonna do cozy slipper. Ooh, that's good. Winter moon. Okay. Jingle bellhop. <laughs> Jingle bellhop. That is that's amazing. That's actually really good for the Doomgate and Trevor. I made a beer, <laughs> Yule <Good> boy. <laughs> good boy. Yeah, good boy. That's good. Yeah, Trevor's good boy. Blood I love it. Drool of the werewolf. Beer adjacent entity, loon enthusiast, frothing jowls. The frothing jowls. Sup, Uh Let's see. Bell hop is pretty smooth. I mean, it just it kicks ass. Yeah. It's like three different puns. Yeah, yeah all it's like, wrapped into it, one. Exactly. Right? It's like, like some kind of meta pun. It's a pun on itself. <laughs> Winter haunch. Winter haunch. Get out of town. Yeah. Oats. Ooh, Whoa. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Okay. Sown oats. Yeah. I think, you know, for this, um, when this is ready, we have to have our friend Trevor um, 
kid come in. Deliver. Yeah, and, and, and drink. Can do. Lark be gone. There you go. <laughs> it's like a spray. Walk at the moon. Round out, round. Round out, round. Round out. Yeah, yeah. Walk at the moon. All right. Howlmageddon. Deck of the Howls. Deck of the Howls. Nice. The deck of many howls. All inclusive ale. The deck of many howls. Yule management. Yeah, deck the howls here. We got we got some we got five solids here. Damn. So good. We got some quality product in there. Jump in. Take God, a look all, at it. They're actually all really good. What was that weird sound? It sounded like it came from the timer. You have it under control? Is anything on fire back there, Josh? <laughs> but here, so after this, I'm going to go back and hang out with uh, my friend Mike Rahulik. He's going to draw the comic strip, and I'm going to jibber jabber. But at 3 o'clock, is anything else happening? Something on the stream. Super delicious is yeah. happening on What's the that? stream. Our friend Kyle Kincaid from the Monocle Society mm -hmm. is bringing in. Is, weave. He, is he gonna run? He's got we're gonna find out. Okay. We might just pick somebody to be the DM because it's that amazing of a game. Um, we had the chance to play Weave at Unplugged, but also Kyle is a local Seattleite and he True showed it to designer us. Designer dude. Yeah, yep. showed it to us before and we said we gotta get you on the stream. Um, Weave is one of the easiest ways to approach RPG storytelling that I've hmm. seen in a long time. Well, it's a, cyber, it's a cyber tarot deck RPG. It's pretty fucking crazy. Anyway, we'd had a demo of it, but it's like, unless you unless you actually see it work, it doesn't, it's hard to get your head around it. Right. So, obviously it's a sponsor stream, but in addition to anything else that it might be, it's also basically going to be live RP, uh, just like we did for, um, uh, gosh, what was, what was Rodney's? Oh, um, Dust City Outlaws. Dust City. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. So basically, we're gonna make characters, mm -hmm. uh, run through an adventure scenario. And I'm, what's I'm, amazing I'm super is excited. you make characters in ten minutes. Done. Well, you, you you basically make them with the assistance of yeah. the thing. Anyway, it's all good. Uh, I think we're good here on Jingle Bell Hop. If you want to enter that into the ancient scrolls, uh, then I'm gonna head back. We're gonna hang out with uh, uh, Mr. Kahulik for a little while. I'm gonna eat some cup of soup. We'll answer your questions in the channel. <sighs> Uh, listen, I want to thank, um, obviously Jeff Callis for another incredible, um... Draining of the cake. Well, another, another incredible, uh, debut. Yeah. Um, his cameos are always incredible. I thought you were going to gesture back there and he was asleep. <laughs> yeah, he actually might be, yeah. No, he's just, he's, he's like, like hiding draped, behind the couch. But he's like, no, he's like draped over the back <laughs> of it like this. Oh, yeah. Um, but I, I'm also very, very pleased, um to have my friend Chris Stroud here because mm -hmm. I haven't seen him since the show and I miss him sometimes. What a delight. Oh man, and it's so we, but we were able to put something really cool together for you. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm no, super was... excited. I think it turned out really good. Yeah, really cool. I want to know what people, like they, surely others have this device and are just making it along. Well they size. certainly can't. Yeah. I mean the reality is that the recipes are all there yeah. on the on the Pico backend. And, and the reality is we're talking with Pico. They're going to be up so everybody can literally just grab the Pico grab packs. the ingredients. This is going to be happening in the next couple of weeks, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, -ish. Um, if everything goes okay, you can basically buy yep. one of the beers as a cartridge. Yep, and then and just throw put it right into in. one of the smaller versions. So, and soon, yeah. all I'll have all the recipes done for everybody, and they'll be up on the P Penny Arcade website for you to download. Mm -hmm. if, yeah, you yeah. if you're not using so, a Pico, exactly. If you're not using a Pico, that's okay. People. People made beer before the Pico Brew. I promise. Yeah. A couple times it happened. Uh, anyway, uh, it's been our great pleasure. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, next, we got some art stream with Mike Rahulik. Uh, don't forget, three o'clock, live RP here with our Weave sponsored stream. Thank you so much.